Sometimes when you're tuning a harp, you find that the, the actual tuning pin can be quite stiff to move, make a creaking noise, or it can be quite loose. And if it's loose, the string won't stay at pitch and it gradually winds down. So what I'm going to show you now is how to remedy that and how to get over the problem if you can. Now, the tuning pin is held in the piece of wood by a taper. It's a very small taper, but the further you press the tuning pin in, the better it grips, and the further it pokes out, the less it grips. And you've got to get a compromise between it being not too tight and not too slack. So for instance, the C string that I just had, if I pluck it, there it is down. And that's what will happen if the tuning pin turns by itself because the grip in the wood is too slack. So what I'll do is I'll take the tuning pin out by pressing the end and turning the tuning key anti-clockwise and take the string off. There's the string coming off. And then I'll take the tuning pin out and there's that tuning pin. You'll see it's got the little red mark to show that it's a C. And sometimes some resin or some glue from the wood gets onto the tuning pin and makes it either grip or be a bit slippery. And what I normally do is put some nail varnish remover or something that's a mild degreaser on a piece of cloth and just clean the tuning pin to take that grease or that dirt off. Then put it back in, connect up the string go and first of all the pin will be quite loose which is fine because we're just setting it up and then as the tuning pin begins to bite you just feel that nice pressure which is just enough to hold the string but not too tight and then there we are and then you can control whether the pin is too tight or too slack. Really by pushing it in or out is enough. But if it's a bit sticky sometimes and it doesn't cure it, take it out and clean it. And that's, that'll help you to tune and keep the heart more stable.